Hi, you have a good name? Saranya Reddy sir. Yeah, Saranya. Can you explain about yourself, Saranya? Yes sir. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Good morning sir. My name is Saranya Reddy. I recently completed my B.Tech in the stream of information technology from Mid College of Technology with an aggregate of 8.84. I completed my intermediate in Narana Junior College with a percentage of 96. And I completed my SSC in Little English Public School with a percentage of 98. As a part of academic, I completed a project uh, which is on Python, uh, okay. handwritten signature verification using deep learning. Okay. After com after completion of my graduation, I am currently training on Java full stack development in Vitu Software Solutions. Okay, Java full stack. So, can you tell me uh, why we need JVM in Java? Yes, JVM, it is an internal application from JRE. Mm -hmm. uh, which provides an en environment to execute Java program. J uh, JVM provides the environment. It starts the execution of the Java, Java program. Okay. It consists of three modules, mm -hmm. class loader subsystem, memory management and execution engine. Okay. Can you explain about execution engine? What is the difference between interpreter versus JIT compiler? Yes, sir. Interpreter executes the code line by line. When a method call is only once, then we will go for interpreter. It will interpret the code and then executes the code. If the method call is uh, multiple times, then JIT compiler comes uh, comes and executes that. When a uh, method is called frequently, it converts the frequently uh, uh, executed code into native code. Uh, then it ex uh, executes the after the interpreter interprets the code, then JIT compiler executes the code. Okay. It is faster than uh, JIT compilers. Okay. So can you tell me uh, why we need collections in Java? We need collections to structure the data in a proper way. Uh, we uh, To store collection of heterogeneous data into a single unit, we, we need collections. Uh, to work with collection of objects, we use collections. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. There is no fixed size. Collections are growable in nature. Uh, in, perform, in memory point of view, we will recommend collections. Okay. So tell me about what is the comparable and versus comparable. Comparable is an interface from java.lang package. Comparator is an interface from java.util package. Comparable is used for predefined sorting. If we if a class extends comparable, we can perform sorting by using comparable. Comparator uh, is used for mainly used for user defined sorting. Okay. Uh, it returns a positive integer when we have a method in comparator known as compare uh, compare of object 1 and object 2 parameters as object 1 or object 2. If object 1 is greater than object 2, then it returns a uh, positive integer 1. Okay. If object 1 is equal to object 2, then it returns a 0. If object 1 less than object 2, then it returns a negative integer minus 1. Okay. Yes. Okay. Great. So, can you explain about hash map in Java? Sir, hash map. Hash map, hash map is a class which implements uh, map interface. Mm -hmm. Hash map, uh, we have a size 16, uh, bucket size is 16. We can store the values like key value pay, key and value pairs. Uh, it expects the values as key and values. Keys should not be duplicate, but values can be duplicate. Okay. Uh, we can use null values for uh, values, but we can cannot use null values for keys. So, if I am adding the duplicate key, so what happens? It replaces the it, it does not give any error, but it replaces with the uh, new key. Replaces with the new key with the what? So key, I have a 1 with a Saranya. Yes, okay, I am adding 2 with a Srikanth. So then, sorry, again I am giving a key 1. So now I am trying to use, I want to get 1 key. Then what yes. is the output? Srikanth. Yes, so Updates the old the value, value is replacing with a new, new value. value, you can say. Yes, tell me the difference between fail first and fail safe. Fail first. While working with array list, if we iterate the element, when we iterate the elements in the array list, if we add while iterating an element, for every iteration, the element will be added and the array list size will be increased. Array list is a resizable array. Uh, it increases size uh, 50 percent, uh, half of its current capacity. Every time we add an element, it will the size will be increased and it will never breaks the loop. Uh, then it will uh, fails fast. This is known as, uh, here we will get concurrent modification exception. Okay. This is known as fail fast. This will be achieved by using copy and write error list. Okay, copy and write error list is a class from which package? Uh, Java.concurrent package. Java.util.concurrent. Util. Very good.
So can you explain about the hash table versus hash map? Hash table. Hash table uh, internally working like a hash map, but hash table bucket size is 11 and hash map uh, size is 16. Mm -hmm. So null values can I assign for both? Sir. Null keys will no. be available for both? No, sir. Okay. Then which one I can add null values or null keys? So is hash table allowing null keys? Null keys are not allowed, sir, but null values are allowed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So tell me about Java 8 features. Java 8 features. Uh, Java 8 fe features are introduced to concise the code and to improve the performance. Uh, in Java 8 features, we have um, lambda expressions, functional interfaces, default and static methods. Okay. Lambda expressions, can I use wherever I want? No, sir. Only when uh, it is a functional interface, we can use lambda expression. Functional interface. What is when we have functional interface? In an interface, if you have only a single abstract method, then it is known as functional interface. For example, uh, runnable, comparable, comparator, uh, predicate. Okay. Uh, so tell me about predicate. Predicate is a functional, in, predefined functional interface from java.util package. It util, is util package directly? java.util. Uh, java function. function. java.util. Yeah. function. Okay. Uh, it is it is used for to, to test the condition. It have a method known as test. It expects an object and it, it returns the boolean values. If the condition is true, it returns true and if the condition is false, it returns a false. Okay, explain about function from java.util.function. Function is a predefined function interface from java.util.function package. Uh, it, it is used to transform the object. Uh, it, uh, it has a method known as apply. Apply uh, takes the it takes the uh, a type of input t and it returns the type of uh, result r. Okay, explain about consumer. Consumer uh, consumer will accept will only accept the data. It is only to perform a task. It uh, it has a method. It has a single abstract method known as get. It only uh, takes the input and it does not returns anything. It returns void. Okay, tell me about customized exception. How to create in Java? Customized exception is also known as user-defined exception. When we want to create our own exception, then we will go for a customized exception. We can create customized exception in two ways uh, by extending uh, by extending with the exception class and by extending with the uh, runtime exception class. If we extend a class uh, by uh, exception, then these exceptions are considered as checked exceptions okay. uh, because all the except all the classes under check exception class are checked exception here we will have to handle the exception uh, if we extend by runtime exception class then they are considered as unchecked exceptions because all, uh, all the exceptions under run runtime exception class are unchecked exceptions so explain about throw versus throws then throw is a keyword that is used to uh, throw an exception explicitly instead of jvm throwing the exception we can throw the exception explicitly if we want to throw an exception with a meaningful error message we can use throw. Uh, throw should be the last line of the any block. Throws, throws is a keyword to satisfy the compiler when we have a checked exceptions. Throws is not useful for unchecked exceptions. Okay, throw can, can you tell me some unchecked exceptions which you faced in your programming? Uh, sir, arithmetic exception, null pointer exception, uh, array index out of bounds exception. When you will get array index out of bounds exception? If we have a size array of size 10, uh, if we add an element with the index 11, then we will get uh, our index out of bounds exception. Okay. So, tell me about what is class uh, class not found exception. Class not found exception. While we are while we are uh, connecting Java to database, mm -hmm. we, we use a method known as for name. For name is the method from class, uh, which is used to load the driver class. Uh, it expects a string. It, it expects a string when we are using class dot for name. There will be a chance if the driver class is present or not, then we will get uh, class not found exception. Then we will handle uh, class not found exception. Okay. So, um, whenever you are working with uh, database, you mentioned, right? Yes. Can you explain the four steps, what are the steps you need to follow to connect to the database through Java? So, can you explain the steps? Yes, sir. First step is uh, loading the driver class. Uh, we have to load the driver class. The first step is uh, to load driver from the database uh, to get connection for java and database here the first step is uh, class dot for name of com dot 
mysql.cj.jdbc.driver here we will uh, have a chance of uh, class not found exception uh, we need to handle that exception this creates copy of an object uh, after uh, loading the driver class we have to establish the connection um, we have a class driver manager from java.sql package driver manager has a method known as get connection get connection uh, expects the database url um, and, and returns the connection object so that we can connection con is equal to driver manager dot get con so get connection, connection is a class or interface interface sir okay go on interface from java dot util pack uh, sql package very good yeah go on uh, yes sir uh, the third step is to um, create a statement uh, we can use uh, did you created a url driver manager dot get connection you yes, passed sir. a url you are the url jdbc call uh, jdbc slash local host call Local host colon double three zero six slash uh, mm -hmm. our um, JDBC colon MySQL colon MySQL colon uh, local host mm -hmm. uh, slash double three zero six slash uh, database uh, our database name. Mm -hmm. uh, sir, okay, only URL sufficient. Username huh? and password. Okay, okay great. So next, yeah, explain about. Uh, statement statement the uh, third step is to create a statement we can create a statement by using create statement or prepared statement hmm. prepared statement is uh, used because of to avoid sql injection what is what, what is meant by sql injection sql injection uh, is a vulnerability that allows the attackers uh, to retrieve the data from the database easily uh, with pass with modifying the queries in create statement uh, the query is not uh, query is just compiled and it can be modified later but in prepared statement, uh, the query is uh, prepared at, at the compile time only and it cannot be modified later. That's why uh, attackers, uh, there is no chance for attackers to modify the query in prepared statement. Okay. So, yeah. What uh, What is the next step? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, the fourth step is uh, executing the query. For executing the query, we have three methods. Execute, execute update and execute query. Uh, when we are creating... Creating a data, creating table or a, a, a creating a table to the database, then we will go for execute. Execute update is for DML commands for a, a, like uh, insert, update, delete. For these commands, uh, we will go for execute update. Execute query means uh, if we want to select the retrieve the data from the database to Java, then we will go for uh, execute query. Execute update returns uh, null. If you want, uh, in this, I will tell about execute update, sir. Mm -hmm. It returns uh, um, integer int n is equal to execute update dot prepared statement uh, object reference dot execute query. It expects um, SQL query. Here we okay, what execute update software. method will return? I mean, that uh, update method will return what? Execute update method will return integer, sir. Very good. So, tell me, uh, what are the SQL uh, related information like uh, DDL, DML, DQ. Can you explain about it? Yes, sir. DDL means data definition language. In uh, in DDL, we have create, uh, drop, alter, truncate, and rename. DML means data manipulation language. Uh, insert, update, delete. Uh, DCL means uh, data control language uh, in which we have uh, grant, revo revoke, TCL, transaction control language. In which, in which we have uh, commit, rollback, save point, and mm -hmm. we have DQL data query language, in which we have select, create, create is a, uh, create is used to create database or tables. Uh, like we have a syntax like create table, table name, mm -hmm. uh, drop, drop is used. Okay, what are the predefined methods used in SQL? Predefined methods. Yep. Like date function, string functions, or any, did you use anything? Yes, sir, date function. Yeah. It okay. should trace the current date. Current okay. date. Yes. Okay. So, can you tell me the normalization steps? I mean, yes, sir. explain about normalization. Yes, sir. Uh, normalization is used to structure the data uh, in the database. Mm -hmm. We have four normal forms. Uh, first, in first normal form, every column has a uh, every record has a unique value. There should be not multiple values. For example, uh, serial number, name, 
we have a table like serial number name and mobile number one uh, abc it ha if if they have a multiple mobile numbers if you mention two mobile numbers uh, it will be violating the first normal form that mm -hmm. means every uh, record should have a unique uh, unique value okay yes, sir Se uh, second normal second normal form uh, if we want to if we want second normal form the table must be in first normal form and eliminate the partial dependency partial dependency means every column must be depend on the primary key for example uh, i have a stu i have a table with columns a student id student name course id course id uh, is not related is related but is it is not fully dependent on uh, student id student id here student id is the primary key course id is not fully dependent it is a partial dependent we have to eliminate that partial dependent and segregate into another table uh, third normal form we should eliminate the uh, transitive dependency uh, for example student name uh, we have a table like student student id student name depart employee sorry employee id employee name uh, department number depart, department id uh, okay. these both are related but we uh, but Uh, this uh, employee id is transitively dependent on uh, to uh, employee department id is transitively dependent on employee id mm -hmm. uh, then we will segregate uh, this uh, this as two tables employee table and uh, department table okay yes. okay explain about primary key versus foreign key primary key is a unique unique key constant uh, it should it should it should not have duplicate values and it should not have null values A primary key should be unique. Uh, only one primary key. We, we we should have a only one primary key in a table. Uh, prime foreign key is the primary key of another table. Uh, foreign key can contains uh, duplicate values. Um, we can have multiple primary key columns in our uh, in a table. Okay. So what about this uh, joins? explain about uh, joins yes sir uh, there are multiple joins inner join uh, left outer join right outer join cross join uh, self join and explain about join. self join if a if a table uh, wants to, if a, if we want to combine the table within the table uh, by using same table then we will go for uh, self join so yeah you are good ma so all the best thank you thank you sir very good wonderful